It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of September. So this could resonate at any time in September. Let's just see what we've got. What do we have for Gemini for the month of September? Ooh, deception. Someone is for wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Looks like we got three people here. Okay, there's three people here. Somebody's looks like everybody's wearing a mask, huh? Uh, there's some deception. You're dealing with some deception. Somebody isn't being their true selves. They're not showing their true colors. Or there's denial. There's definitely something going on. Looks like it's a third party situation of some sort. You, There could be a surprise that is coming because this, it looks like it's a big surprise. You may end up being surprised this month. What do we got for Gemini? Now you could be deceiving yourself in some way as well. Let's see, what do we got? What do we have for Gemini? Move fast. <laughs> you gotta move fast if you don't want to get fucking burned. Excuse my language. You definitely gotta move fast. There's quite a bit of cards here. There's a lot of them. Uh, let's just take... You probably should look at them all, huh? You wanna look at them all? Should we look at them all? I mean, there's quite a big stack. We can't put them all on the things. But I feel like we need to look at them all. So, uh... Archway. New opportunity. Possibilities and paths opening up. Basket. Recognition. <laughs> I can't talk for any reason. Recognition and reward for merit. Diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Shark. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Love. This is about love. Love is in the air, right? Frying pan. Ooh, trouble. Accusations. Bear, danger, especially in money matters. Wealth, oh boy. Vase, secret admirer. You have a secret admirer or your partner does. Horse, short journey. So, you got a lot of cards here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get three. I'm just going to look up. and I'm not looking at the cards. I'm going to pick three, the three most prominent ones for the stands. Wealth. Recognition. Reward for merit. Diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. We're going to keep these, but I'm just... These are the most prominent. Recognition. Reward for merit. You're going to get some sort of wealth. Okay? You're going to get paid for something. Okay? Uh, it looks really good. Diamond, basket, wealth. I mean, it looks really, really, really good. You're going to get paid for something. But, I just happened to look on the bottom. You need to take care of them. Or, be, be wary. You've got a shark. You've got somebody who's probably after your wealth. They're after your money. Maybe that's where the deception comes from. I don't know. You do need to be careful. You do need to be careful. Now, it's interesting because this says you will be receiving or giving a precious gift. Be careful with who you give your money to. You don't want to get burned. What do we got? You could end up getting burned. I don't like it. 
Knight of Wands. So this is act now, think later. Take somebody. This is like flying in. This is some. This is a very passionate entrance. Judgment. Now this is a poor judgment call. Um, lack of awareness. I think that you need to really be aware. This is taking action without thinking. Make sure that you are awake. Okay, this is lack of awakening. This is not being aware. Poor judgment call. You know, subject to trial. Make sure that you are questioning somebody's motives. Or asking lots of questions. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, or a uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, it could be anybody, but this Queen of Cups is somebody that has a really big heart. And that could be your energy, Gemini. You know, you could be very caring and sympathetic and compassionate. Somebody may take advantage of your big heart. It's definitely an emotional time. I think that you have a, you have a really big heart here. Somebody's not aware of an entrance. You could now. I just have to. I just got another message, and I don't know who this is for. Some of you may be dealing with a water sign. It doesn't have to be a water sign. You may be dealing with somebody that has somebody coming into their lives, and you're unaware of it. This is impulsive energy. Seizing a new opportunity, taking it. Wasn't interested in the past, but interested now. So, you know, you may have somebody coming after you that's interested. You've got to look at this and however it resonates with you. There's a, there's a renewed interest in love, put it that way. Or emotional fulfillment. But this is very uh, impulsive. Okay, this is, this the, the judgment reversed, you definitely need to beware. Devil, oh, there's there's some sort of temptation here. Um, uh, unhealthy, unhealthy bond, codependency. Somebody may have need to have their desires met. Okay, this is desires and this is desires. They may have some sort of desire, you know, to uh, get laid. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. Um, that's what it looks like to me. Um, anyway, that devil is, there's more to this than meets the eye. You need to look a little bit deeper because the devil is ruled by the shadow. What you see is not what you get. Instant gratification. Somebody's looking for instant gratification. And it doesn't have to be sexual. This could be materialistically. This could be materialism. This is somebody that is very greedy and selfish and has a big ego and needs their ego fed. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. There is another opportunity here that you could be missing. You might end up finding out about it or seeing it. Oh, there is a secret admirer here. And whether it's for you or whoever you're dealing with, they, we definitely have a secret admirer. Somebody is, is emotionally bonding with another person. There's an emotional bond here that is building. It's kind of, you kind of talk like, this is deception. Emotional cheating, perhaps. Cheating, there's another way to cheat, okay? It doesn't always have to be sexual. Um, having intimate conversations with another person on a regular basis is called emotional cheating. So you could be dealing with somebody that is doing that. Um, and you may not be aware of it. They're making, you know, or the person that you're dealing with is making a poor judgment call. And I think they're going to get away with it. Anyhow, um, we do have flirting going on. You may be flirting with somebody. There is definitely a new opportunity. If you're single, say you're single and you're watching this, there's a new opportunity here that is coming in from somebody that is probably crushing on you. This person is sexually attracted to you, if you are single. 
And you may even be in a relationship. I don't know. There's definitely a, a deep attraction here and it's passionate. But there's also some sort of um, crushing going on, you know. Um, Mm, yeah, I was going to say false love. Interesting. And that just confirmed it. I don't think it's real. I, th I think it's just, what do you call that? Puppy love. Puppy love. This Knight of Cups reversed is somebody that is a flirt, is very lustful, is, is a seducer, is unrealistic, isn't really looking for a relationship, but says all the right things. So I feel as though you're dealing, or you have somebody that is, is coming in very, very fast, either to your life or your partner's life. This person does not have good intentions. I don't care what you think. They may be in your life now and you may be already bound to them. But they are not the Knight of Cups reversed. This is, this is somebody that doesn't face reality. This is somebody who... Um, Sugar coats things, a people pleaser. This is somebody that is two faced, that doesn't like confrontation, that is delusional. I think you're dealing with somebody that is delusional, that thinks that they can deceive you. So I feel like you need to be definitely careful this week. I think that somebody is, I feel like you, you may be being. Uh, somebody maybe it feels like they're using you for your wealth. I'm sorry, or they or something that you're giving them. You're giving them something that is that is feeding them. It's feeding their ego. I don't know why this is happening. Um, and you may be saying that I don't know why this is happening. Um, anyhow, there's, there's, we have a, we have a very charming individual here who says all the right things, but all is not as it seems. You need to look a little bit deeper. I feel like you're either dealing with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Capricorn, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think that you may, maybe, you may, you may feel so much passion or desire for this person that you may be overlooking the truth. Make sure that you are seeing things clearly because, you know, sometimes we put on those rose-colored glasses and we ignore the truth. We, we pretend that everything is okay when deep down we know that it's not. I feel as though we do have, for some, there's a new opportunity here that is being taken with the Four of Cups reversed. We have somebody here that is very, very interested. They're, and I, you know, for some of you, it's interested in you. Somebody is interested in you. But they may be interested for, you know, your big heart and what you have to offer them materialistically and sexually. But I'm not sure they're really available for love. Who is this person? Ah, Oh, God. Definitely. Oh, jeez, I'm crow. I don't know if you're dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. It's a water. It feels like this person has a lot of water in their chart if they're not a, if they're not a water sign. They have a lot of water in their chart. They even may have some addictions. We have addictions here and addictions here. They could have a sexual addiction. They could have a drug addiction. They could have a personality disorder. Maybe it's obsessive compulsive disorder. Whatever it is. Whoever you are dealing with... Um, Mm, is secretive. Very, very, very secretive. I think we have a mental imbalance here, I'm sorry to say. There's self-deception as well. This is self-deception. We have deception. Make sure that your eyes are open, Gemini. You're dealing with somebody that is, I think that you know that this is not healthy. I think that you know that this is not good for you, but for some reason, maybe it's karmic. Maybe you have to learn some sort of lesson. For some reason, you, you are uh, allowing this. This moon reverses. Truths are being revealed. This is a reality check. I 
I'm not sure that you can trust this person that you're with. I think whoever you're with has some secrets. I think that you have a very, very big heart. I also feel like... Uh, Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. Maybe they get caught. Maybe they get caught in the lie and they ask you for forgiveness this month. Something is going to happen. All of us, that's going to be a surprise. You've got a surprise coming. You're in for a surprise this month. Justice. Justice reverse. This is we got bad karma here. Bad karma, bad karma. Both these cards. That's a card of karma. And this one too. So we got bad karma here. It's like there this is not fair. This is an injustice. Things not turning out the way that you had hoped. There's an imbalance here. And I think it's a mental imbalance. I think you are dealing with somebody that has some sort of disorder. Okay? And I feel like they are very unbalanced. They are not telling you the truth. They're definitely a liar. You are dealing with somebody who lies. And this could be a compulsive. Because I said obsessive compulsive. A compulsive liar. Justice reverse. This is not fair. This is an injustice. This is not happy with the outcome. This is an argument with no resolution in sight. And it is a need for to for a trial because this is subject to trial and this is subject to trial. It's like a trial is needed or, you know, maybe you need to put this person on a trial period or something like that. Maybe it's time to reevaluate. I do feel like you need to reevaluate whoever you're dealing with. I think you got somebody that is very egotistical, okay? I think you got somebody that is very egotistical, very controlling, uh, very much in their head about what society thinks. This person could be a business owner, I'm not sure. Or uh, somebody that feels like they're in a, in a position of authority, really worries about what everybody else thinks. Um, I think that this person, whoever you're dealing with, is unreasonable. They are self-centered. They are self-righteous. Um, Conceited. I think you're dealing with a conceited individual who is lying to you. They're not telling you the truth. They're, they're, it's, it's almost like they're keeping you tied to them because of what you have to offer. But in the meantime, they are interested in somebody else. And I feel like you may be deceived. This is self-deception. We got deception right there. I think you are involved in a third-party situation that you would just soon not even know about. If you are single, if you are single, maybe you're deceiving yourself, holding on to somebody that was toxic. You haven't quite severed those ties yet. I feel like this is going to be an emotional month. We have emotions here, or a lot of emotions. I'd say towards the end of the month, the middle to the end of the month, you're going to be feeling very, very, very emotional. You may be receiving emotional support from somebody new. And you're you're stuck in the middle. You may feel like you're stuck in the middle. You, you know, you just want to move forward now, but you... Uh, this is quite sudden. You're still tied to whoever this other person is that you are wearing a mask about, you know. I feel like you are about to get some surprising information in regards to some lies that you have been told. And I think it's going to, it's going to, it's going to wake you up. Okay. I do feel like you're about to get a reality check and about whoever it is that you're dealing with. I think that whoever you're dealing with, maybe, maybe they're sexting. With, you think, look up sexting, if you don't know what it means, you know, or they're, they're, it feels like they're emotionally bonding with somebody else. And I think that you're going to find out about that. Um, if that is not the case, I feel like um, you are totally unaware of something, <laughs> totally unaware, both of these cards. Um, you're unaware of 
some sort of deception that is going on but you are going to have to take action right away when when you find out you're going to you are going to find out about this you're going to find out and whoever you're dealing with is going to blame it all on you they're going to blame it all on you and try to turn it right around Ah, this is a wake-up call. <laughs> yes, sir. This is a wake-up call. You're about to get a wake-up call. You're about to get some sort of information that is very factual. You're going to receive a message from somebody that uh, sh I feel like it shocks you. I do. It's quite a surprise. Um, King of Swords in reverse. King of Swords in reverse is somebody that is abusive. Angry. Loud. The things could get loud. There's going to be some mean words that are said. There is. Be prepared. Be prepared. I think, I don't know if you're dealing with a narcissist or what. Looks like you are to me. I do feel as though you're gonna you're gonna be uh, upset. You're gonna be upset. You may you may say some things that you regret later on. Anyway, I feel as though this month uh, you're gonna definitely uh, get a big surprise of some sort out of nowhere comes up out of nowhere and it could be if you are say you are the Gemini man watching this and uh, say you're dealing with somebody you're dealing with whatever sign it is fire sign whatever um, you could this third party may be the one that says something the third party says something Some of you could have some uh, legal issues uh, that don't go in your favor, and if it's not, it doesn't. If it's not love related, this is something not going in your favor. This is as well. It's a, it's a need to move on from that bad choice. You know, it's no remorse as well. So you may be dealing with somebody that has no remorse for their actions. This is actions, no remorse, no remorse. And maybe you need to be stern. Maybe you need to be assertive. Maybe you need to be the king of swords in reverse instead of, you know, this person with such a big heart. And I, know, I, I hate to say that, but sometimes, you know, when you let people take advantage of your heart, you got you to put your guard up and say, you know what? It's over right now. I've heard enough. It's kind of like in that, in that trial, enough has been said. So I feel like this month, somebody is going to um, really poke you. They're going to poke you. This is, I feel like this is somebody that um, has deserted you or they've used you or abused you in the past. I feel like this person's going to come in and they're looking for, uh, you know, they, they say all the right things. You know, they're, they come in, they're, they're, they're very pa passionate, you know, they're, they, they want to bond with you, <laughs> but they're lying. Okay. There's lies here. There's, there's something about it that is not healthy at all. All is not as it seems. This person's not telling you the truth and you're going to find out exactly what this is. Whoever you're dealing with is, I think, that, but I would, like I said, emotionally cheating with another person. I think it's a water sign.
if you're single, you have somebody else coming in. If you are single, you have somebody coming in that is very passionate. They are very attracted to you. Um, but I also feel like and they, they're crushing on you. They're flirting with you. They see your big heart. But I feel like they have not broken free from something. Uh, I feel like they have not broken free from a third party. So I think you're going to need to uh, express and protect yourself from this person, whoever it is. Gemini, September. You need to be careful. You definitely have a secret admirer. Danger, especially in money matters. You got a lot about money here. Whoever is uh, taking action towards you is doing it because of what you can provide for them materialistically. They don't want to have to pay for it. It's, if you could pay for it, that's great. That saves their bank account, right? Frying pan, trouble. You are in for some trouble this month. New opportunity, possibilities, and paths opening up. You do have a new opportunity here as well. But you're going to have to take your mask off. Horse, short journey. If I was you, I would just go someplace else. This is definitely about love. For some of you, you have a new opportunity for love here. I would take it. But you do need to be careful. We saw be careful here. Be careful. Yeah, there is, there, it's like you have a choice between two. You can choose the one that wants to use you, that you have good sex with or whatever, or you can choose somebody that, um, is not looking for that, that is looking for something more emotional, something more loving. Anyway, this is definitely about love. And I think that you are in a situation in which you have been uh, wearing a... Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And there's all three people are doing it, including you. Good luck. <laughs>